Hi Titans, this is Mr. Sear. I'm about to show you how to make um, some details on your simple house exteriors in SketchUp. Now I'm going to show you how to add some things to the house, like for example, um, doors and windows. So we want this, although we don't want it, we're not going to actually type in a number for the dimensions. We're going to, what's called eyeball it, but we want it to not be this tall because a two, a two floor door doesn't make much sense. So we just make a rectangle that looks about right. Tap it in a little bit to 3D to give it that you know 3D feel. And windows are pretty much the same. I'm going to go to my second floor to make my first window. I'm eyeballing it. And before I tap this one in, however, I'm going to use my selection tool and the shift key to grab all the lines that create it. And then I'm going to let go of the shift key and use my alt button uh, and my move tool to duplicate that window so that all my windows for each room are the same. Okay, so that's, and I'm again eyeballing it. I'm not measuring exactly how far apart they are. Um, you can move them later on by doing this exact same thing that I just did. So if I decided this space is too large here, I could just go over to my selection tool and either drag a selection over the whole thing or use the shift button like I did before and then use my move tool to push it wherever I want it to go, even it up a little bit. All right, so I could do that on my own. I'm not going to make you watch that. I'm going to select off the window. I'm going to select the ground right here so I'm not selecting anything. Um, and I'm just going to tap my windows in. Now if I want them tapped in the amount, the same amount, I just hover over the previous window. So I'm tapping it in, then I'm going to hover over that window. So clicking and dragging until all my windows go in the even amount. All right, so that's how I make some windows. Now next you're thinking, well, I want my house to have a chimney. So if I use my square tool to make a chimney shape over here, and I'm going to look for that line uh, that goes diagonally, because that's telling me that it's square. Uh, even though from this angle it doesn't look square. So click it, and what's the problem with this? Uh, well, you can't answer me, so I'm going to tell you. Uh, if I click and drag it, it comes out diagonally. No chimney actually looks like that. So our little secret for that is to go underneath the house with the orbit tool. Um, decide about where you want to put your chimney. I'm going to put it maybe in the back of the house in this case. Uh, look for a square. Good. And pop it right through. Whoa, that's a little bit high. All right, so we can always go around to this side now, and we see that it's way too high. I almost went into my other house. Um, use my push-pull tool again and make it the exact height that we want. We're also going to make a garage, um, and we're going to do that by making a rectangle over here. We want it to be about one floor, so I'm going for about the halfway point. Click, and I'm going to pull it out using the push-pull tool. All right, so this is, again, I'm just eyeballing, and, of course, I want to have a garage door. So I'm going to use my uh, rectangle tool again to make a little garage door that I'm going to eyeball. Tap it in a little bit. If I really want to make it look like a garage door, I might zoom in, um, orbit a little bit so I could see both interior sides. That's this and this. And just use my pencil tool to kind of draw some lines from here to here. Notice that they're, I'm making sure they're straight by uh, the fact that they're colored. That means that they're uh, parallel to one of our uh, whoops. Parallel to one of our axes. If you need a review as to what axes are, there are these three lines right here that indicate um, width, height, and depth. All right, so let me orbit this a little bit. And I'm going to make a different kind of roof on my garage. I'm going to use the arch tool to do it. I'm going to pick my arch up a little bit and drag it. Again, no measurements were made. And I'm going to hover to this back edge so I know it's flush with the back edge in the back. So there's my garage. If I wanted to make a little wing that goes off the side of my house, I would do it the same way, like an extra room. Or um, maybe if I want my wing to be two stories, I could just do this, pop this out, and add a separate roof for it. Um, that is changing the, the dimension of this surface, but your house is still measurable from the back. So if I ever go to check your work to see if it measured, I'll measure it from the other side and it'll tell me that's exactly 60 feet as opposed to the random number that this is going to come out with. Um, another quick way to make a roof is finding the midpoint here. I'm going to make another different kind of roof just because this is a different kind of space. So now I just went up from the middle and then I'm bringing my points down to the bottom and I should have some nice triangles here. I'm going to go in tight and erase those that line there. And then I'm going to push pull this triangle directly into my house. Um, it might create a little line there and that's, we might be able to erase that. Let's find out. Nope. So we're going to have to um, command Z that and see if I can get it as close as possible without making a lot of that line. Okay. 
If I push it through the other side, it's going to create a different problem. So I'm just going to draw the rest of the line that indicates that that's the roof anyway, and it looks fairly natural now. All right, so that uh, got you started on how to do many things with my house. I'm just going to do a couple more quick details, like uh, maybe a, sol a set of solar panels can go across the roof here. Now they can be diagonal because obviously we want them to be um, to be the same position as the roof. Uh, so now I just might find my midpoints here and my midpoints here to separate my four solar panel set. And they're already looking kind of solary. They just need to be painted.